<laughs> he made me drop all my toys. <laughs> this mother <laughs> just called me Eric Cartman. <laughs> ah! Good Guys, we're, we're, I'm trying to do the intro. Guys, did start the intro now. Guys, are you doing it? Trying. Guys, we're here with another. Higher than an eagle's ass unboxing! <laughs> we are ripped right now. And a package has shown up from WrestlingFigures.com where you use discount code GRIM at checkout to save 10%. You have to show the packaging in the video. I might blur out my dumb ass brother. Wait, there he is. Oh, he's hidden again! Oh, wait, he's back! Oh, he's gone again! There he is! Oh my god, what face is he gonna make this time? Ah! I wonder what's next. Oh! I'm gonna die. Ah! I'm gonna die. <laughs> 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 this might be the funniest moment in the history of our sport. <laughs> Here we go. We're cutting it open. Okay. Oh, wait, before we get to this, I wait. have something very important to talk oh, about. Oh, I don't know what could be so important to interrupt an eagle ass unboxing, but go ahead. I have to be serious. Let's be serious for a moment. Here we go. Guys, this is fucking super important. Super important. I'd like to make an apology. Apology is good. Yeah, I have to. It's owed mm -hmm. to the ex heel dragon. Mm. Yeah, and you want to know something? People are like, "What? Holy fuck! What?" Yeah, no, but see, I'm a man of personal responsibility. Just like I apologize to that jackass McJugger Nuggets and his stupid ass mark of a father. But I messed up again. Mm. This is what we have to get into. Mm -hmm. And I just want to apologize because she's not happy. She never was. <sighs> Uh, facts. <laughs> so, facts, though. I, you, you know, we on my wrestling video like a week ago, we had brought up the fact that uh, Cletus, for real life, Cletus from my show, was the first of GTS wrestlers that slid in her DMs when we broke up and she became single. And I exposed that, and that was real life, and she was mad. She was like, I told you that in confidence, yeah, that you know he was the first one in her DMs. He wasn't the only one! And I know about all you other marks, too. I promise it fucking wasn't me. <laughs> Trying to get the Grimster sloppy seconds? No, it definitely wasn't. But <laughs> all you goddamn cucks out there trying to get the Grimster sloppy seconds, let me tell you something right now. I'm sorry I brought that up. So to the X heel dragon, I'm sorry I brought that up. Now, let's get to the unbox. <laughs> Cause we're higher than an eagle's ass. Oh, Grim, I'm and you. the universe of professional wrestling is gonna do one thing right now, brother. They're gonna recognize me. Yeah. This is the greatest YouTube wrestling figures heavyweight champion in the history of our sport. In the history of YouTube wrestling. And you were going to recognize me. And you're going to recognize these nuts. Yeah. Because F going to give it to you. Yeah. We going to give it to you. F going to give it to you. We going to give it to you. All right. Discount code Grim saves 10% at Ringside Collectibles. Ringside Collectibles and Grimm, the power couple for the last 10 years, the most driving force in wrestling figure, 10% savings entertainment. What? Remember that commercial? Yeah, I, I, WWF, the driving force in sports entertainment for the last oh, 50 years. Yeah, yeah. Remember that commercial? <laughs> right. <laughs> Discount code Grim, the most driving force code in saving 10% in the history of Oh my of god! Yo, you're gonna shit when you see this. Oh, you guys are gonna damn. shit when you see this! Oh! What the hell is that? It's the Stinger! Oh. Wait, wait, shh, shh, wait, Shivani's here! It's Sting! Yeah. <laughs> they ruined the whole thing by putting Sting in it. What? How dare you! How dare you 
What? I get it. I get it. Listen, all right. I'm be fucking honest here for a second. We're gonna be real. Break it down. We're breaking it down. We're getting real. Getting real. Growing up, we got into wrestling. Guess who we were not fans of? Fucking Sting. Hated him. We're not fans. Why? Never. Didn't like Luger. Why? I don't know. Just uh, we liked Razor Ramon, Bret Hart, Diesel, Yoko. Fuck Sting and Lex Luger. But I will tell you one thing, what? and I don't know about him, but I will tell you, Sting has fucking earned my respect, and I'm a fan now. Yo, yo, this old bastard's out there diving off shit at 60-something years old. Bro, that's... Yo, big-time Sting fan. Wasn't a fan of the surfer guy back in the day. But now, Stinger's kicking ass, and I'm a fan. I like him. Sting sucks. Always <laughs> has sucked. There's no chance if you walked in my house, you'd, one, find a T-shirt in my drawer of Sting. Well, two, then... there is definitely not two All Elite Wrestling Sting action figures in the All Elite hallway. You will not find that. And, I hate Sting. And he definitely doesn't have the brawling buddy of Sting on his fucking couch in his vlog when I was at his house. Every day of the goddamn day, that Sting's right there. I Look hate at this. I, I hate Sting. All right, we're going to put him out of his misery so we can talk about the set. Go! <laughs> so here we go. It's a solid steel AEW wrestling ring with the stinker. And you can save 10% at ringside collectibles on it. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah! Yo, he's still selling the beat down. That's a fucking kayfaber over there. What's in that fuck? That isn't a, you, this was a, did you, this is some sort of fucking work, bro? Did you replace, like, that fucking toy with a, with a brick? No! It's a fucking toy in there. Oh, <laughs> did you really get knocked out? The essence of Sting that tried to kill him? <laughs> <laughs> the Stinger tried to take him down. All right, I'm cutting the box. Hold on. I didn't really put a brick in there. I did not! There's no bricks in here, bro. <clears throat> well, we need It is. Don't break my steak! I, I'll kill you. I'll kill you to eat that. No! Let it go! Guys, send help! He's trying to steal my stinger! He's stealing my stinger! That's it. Now I'm putting myself over! Now I'm putting myself over! Ah, you stupid sack of shit! No! Get it back! Get it back! Go ah, his ass! His ass! <laughs> I got you, bro. Really he tried to take my stink! Sucks. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Oh, oh god, I just stomped on your glasses by accident. <laughs> hey, why are they on the floor? They were on the couch. Alright, uh, we gotta go now because we're probably gonna have a real life fight. Fucking kill you. Now I just wanna set up figures up here uh, on yeah, the shelf. Yeah, you're lucky my glasses are alright. Well, you're lucky my sting is alright. Bro, what did you do? What do you mean? What did I do? What? Why is it broken half? <gasps> Just like the hot rod. Oh, what fuck. did you do? Fuck when you, you broke bro. My dress you just wrestled over the goddamn thing. Of course it It wasn't broke. broken half when I ended that clip a second ago. Not you my bitch. problem. You broke you your bitch. fucking elite sting. Not my problem. You's a bitch. You're a bitch, man. We just wrestled over it. Of course it's fucking broke. <laughs> Give me the glasses. Oh, I'm going to smash her. I'm going to break them in half. I'm gonna fuck your day up, sir. Just like Hot Rod. Guys, he broke one of my Transformers back when we were kids. And he always wanted to play with it. And I said, leave it the fuck alone. One day, I picked up my Transformer Hot Rod. And it just fell apart in my hands. And he goes, oh, what'd you do? And you broke it. No, now you're taking my title? Yo, get back here. We have shit to hang on the shelf. Shit. Oh, yeah, we're, you're we're right. We're not done. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We're not done. He thinks he's fucking leaving without doing our second half of the episode. <laughs> I'll just take my half of the figure. You know, take the goddamn figure. Take it up here. How dare you disrespect the stinger? Oh, okay. <laughs> like I didn't disrespect him. You're the one that squeezed him in half. You're the one he who was tried in, to rob it. He in the was first in place. one fucking piece when you took him out of my hand when I was on the floor over there. He was in one piece. Uh, now he's in two. Uh, 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 now he's in two. Uh, who broke? Leave a comment. Who fucking broke? Oh, by broke the way, Copy you? Hop, I seen you doing this. And I, and do, I always give you credit, Copy Hop. Come help me get some Transformers to put up on the shelf, you shit. I'm gonna try to repair Sting, actually. They click right back together. There we go. Well, are you, what do you mean? These are the ones. The way, get, what do you mean get out of the way? These are the ones we're putting on the shelf. Take them. What do you mean take them? I'm trying to film. I ain't gonna film. You know what you got? Look, we got a big. Uh, well, I'm dropping them.
I got it. Break my toys when I break you. Well, Chico. this is, I screw you, because this is the one Cosmos that I've been looking for. Ah! Oh, ah! look, 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 look. Fuck! Good yeah. job, good no, job. No, cut this, cut this. No, 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 all over the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened? He made me drop all my toys, because he was being a stupid bitch. Always whining and complaining like a <laughs> Goddamn injured his pussy hole and now he's got a bitch and complain all the time at me but he's supposed to be helping me put my toys on the shelf i don't understand eric cartman how this is my fault what the fuck did you just call me eric cartman eric. over there crying like a little big wing this motherfucker just yeah. called me eric cartman after after all the bullshit that you've done here all afternoon ma'am he made me grab my tongue ma'am i didn't make you drop anything i was walking backwards holding your toys tripping myself as i was trying to hear hold this fool i'm gonna knock you the fuck out i'm not serious i'm, I'm not even kidding oh now i'm not even playing i'm not even fucking playing all right well listen all right, you don't need to blame me. You throw toys out of my head all the fuckery today. All right, you broke Sting in half, which you're welcome. You broke Sting in half. I fixed him, and there he is, okay? Right up, the only wrestler up there, okay? You're welcome. So you know what? When your ass hairs unravel and you get a little cooler and you relax, all right, give your old pal you up, call him. Yeah, man, maybe when you get your ass hairs out of an uproar, maybe when you take your panties off finally and stop being a little sissy bitch... I was just coming over to have a good day. Yeah, we're I'm trying to have fun too. We were supposed to be having a fun Eagles ass and boxing. And then that turned into a fight. I, 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 we're not in a fight. Well, in our, I just, you called me Eric Cartman. Me. Call me I, I will knock you the fuck out, I swear. <laughs> call me later. I'll call you later. All right. oh. We hate them, don't we, fellas? <laughs> hate me. <laughs> I heard some great news, by the way. Oh? CM Punk is not returning to AEW. And you know what that means? More of our favorites have opportunity to become the champion. Because isn't that what everybody wanted from the start? Opportunities. Opportunities. And then they bring in that stupid ass and they have him take the championship, taking title opportunities away from people like our best buddy MJF. You're damn right. Like our best buddy Platinum Max. I mean, he does have a belt, but still. I love the fact that former GTS stars are excelling in AEW. It's just proving that when you work with the Grimster, whether you win the match or not, you got put over, brother. And look where you're going to go. The sky is the limit. Dude, we need tickets for Prudential Center. We gotta watch We're going to Newark. We got to watch MJF win. We got to watch MJF become the champion because it's high time that the professional... Wrestling Universe does one thing for Grimm. Recognize me! Damn right. And if you're gonna sit there and be like, I ain't gonna recognize Grimm. Grimm always does put himself over. Grimm's got such a high opinion of himself. Well, you know what I got for you? We got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!